a friend sent me a video and I opened it and it was porn. Is this a relapse or not? That was a question that I read earlier this week in an online community. And there were hundreds of questions just like this. People questioning themselves whether something is or is not a relapse. Now, the problem with these questions is not really whether like the thing is a relapse or not. You're going to get loads of different subjective views, opinions on whether something is or is not a relapse. The problem with these questions is that it creates a lot of uncertainty. It creates anxiety. It leads to a lot of overthinking. And where does that then lead? Well, we don't like those feelings. We don't want to feel uncertain. And if you're questioning whether something is or is not a relapse, then there's only really one way to find certainty. And it's not going to be through a range of different people's opinions. Instead, the only way to find certainty in that moment is by actually going and having a relapse. And then you feel like, oh, okay, well, now at least I can reset my counter. At least sort of these doubts about myself have gone away because I know for certain that I have looked at porn. And so when we really understand that that's why we're having these questions, we can start to take a different sort of view on them because these questions are actually a tool that is being used by the addicted part of our mind to get us to relapse. That's the reason we're doubting ourselves. The addicted part of our mind will do whatever it can to get you into a place of helplessness where you're uncertain of yourself. And so in that situation, in that state, you're going to obviously crave porn a lot more. How many of your relapses have come from not really not really knowing like whether something is a relapse or whether it's not a relapse? It may be a very simple thing. You're scrolling on social media. You see a sexually explicit photo or video. And then you're like, oh, what have I done here? You know, do I you know, what do I do now? Because I've, I've, have I relapsed? Have I not relapsed? Like you, you don't know in that moment. And that's the problem is that a lot of these questions, they can't really be answered because they are just subjective. I think often, often we really do know though, in, in some way, whether something like is a, is a proper, like full blown relapse or not. And like the difference between like seeing one video for like a few seconds accidentally and then actually going and looking at porn and, and masturbating and having that orgasm and associating the orgasm with the porn on the screen and, you know, rewiring your brain in that way. Like, there's a huge, huge difference in terms of how that's going to change your neural pathways. And that's all that really matters is how the brain becomes like more or less addicted. And if you can just look at something sexually for like a, a second by accident and like actually by accident, I'm not talking about you going and like seeking sexual content, but if you accidentally open a porn video and then you click off that, like, and then you, and then you just know for certain, like, yeah, I've, I've not relapsed and you just carry on with your day and you don't like get into this helpless, like questioning on certain space, then you're going to be in a way better situation to deal with this problem in the long term because porn is everywhere. So you're going to come across porn by accident or you're going to get triggered you're going to have urges and the triggers the urges the thoughts these can all be be handled with when we understand that a part of our brain is going to do whatever it can to get us to relapse so we just need to become really aware of this trick that the mind will play on us stop doubting ourselves stop having the uncertainty in the present moment we literally have two choices and that's all we will ever have so if you're questioning yourself, like thinking is something a relapse or not, just return yourself to the present moment and realize that in that moment there, where you are right now, you literally have two choices. You look at porn, you don't look at porn. All of the questioning is just a tool to get you closer towards looking at porn. And so we want to let go of that. We want to feel certain. And all we can do is know in this moment that I am not going to look at porn. That's the certainty that you want to get to. And so forget about this questioning. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past because that's irrelevant now. It's been done. All you need to do is realize that right now in this moment, I am not looking at porn because I don't want to live this life of indulging in some compulsive behavior, which is just messing up my brain. I don't want to live like that anymore. So don't question it because you know right now in this moment what the best thing for you to do next is. And the best thing for you to do is not question yourself something that happened in the past 
instead is to just move on with your life. Deal with the urges that you're facing now because the reality is a lot of this uncertainty is creating an urge and then go and work on your goals or, or do something else once you've like processed that urge. Go see some friends, do whatever you want to do, but don't get into this like helpless like spiral because you're not really going to end up anywhere, anywhere good. I really hope this video helps. I hope it it saves at least one person from going down this like spiraling, like overthinking state where you end up actually looking at porn. I hope it just helps one person avoid getting into that state again in the future. And if you want free training, then go over to thomasmolyneuk.com and you'll get training from me and Mary. Mary actually taught me about the way in which the brain can like spin out and get into this like helpless state. And it's really helped me a lot. So I hope that free training will help you there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.